What's up, KO fans, roller viewers, rollers, and the listeners? Look, so the other day, my last video I posted, I talked about uh, the introduction of the English birds. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little more of a brief description of um, what I'm planning to do, what, what I'm, <clears throat> the results I'm trying to get. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about the results I'm trying to get um, and why I think I should get them. Um, so the first pair. I'll start right here. The Dalmatian hand, you know, a Kelly hand cock from um, John Sandoval. This is the first one, right? So that's my Dalmatian. She's about 25 feet, right? Uh, she got her name from the, her markings, like the Dalmatian dogs. Um, she was about 20, 25 feet in the air. I won't say she was a super fast spinner. Was a term um, I steal from Arnold Jackson called Class A Roller. That's what she was. She's she maintained her consistency throughout the year. I try to put it back up again. The following year, she got a chance to fly a few weeks. Like she missed the beat. She rolling the same, kitten the same. And how she got in the stock lot for is a, uh, a falcon chased her and chased her down out of sight. So I figured she was gone because I didn't see the falcon nor her again. And then this this might have been about 9 a.m. in the morning. Then about 5 o'clock in the evening, five between 5 and 6 in the evening, I, I was sitting over there and I saw a shadow. And I looked up, it was her. Got her in, never flew her again since. Now, she's pretty much about, I want to say she's twice a minute, but she's once a minute on average for sure, on average. So some days she don't go that, that often, same days she might go a little more. We should always maintain her 20 foot, 25 foot roll. When she's low, she just flip, like around, like when they bought the lane, she just flip, one flip, which is perfect. Now, this cock I didn't see fly. I don't know about John Sandoval's word when he said these birds have real good, got good quality, um, good speed, and good depth. Right? So I'm just putting them on her and just to see what happened. The reason why I chose her is because she, even though she wasn't that frequent, she threw a lot of babies like to work. Her babies like to work. No matter what cock she's been on. Um, the last year, those worked real good, but they became unstable. But I figured out it was a dad. So I had to let him go. Move on, move on from him. So that's what I'm expecting from these right here. The type, her type is pretty, pretty, pretty balanced. I like it. Her expression is pretty good. She got a nice clear eye. And this guy right here, it's her expression might be not, might not be as good as I expect, but I don't expect it to be like my birds, but the type is pretty similar. So We'll see what happens with that. I'm expecting, based on what I was told, I'm expecting birds anywhere between 20 and 40 foot range, at least once a minute. Kit sensitivity, she has that. That's one thing she does have. She have that. If the kid is breaking, she's rolling. She's going with him. She has that part. I'm not sure about this, but I'm just going to try. There's some, some stuff I like to do. It's fun to me. That's one of the... Um, it's one of the little my project birds. As far as the um, English birds are concerned, then we come over here. This is the cock I call Red Baron and on the English bird, but this is a Harris bird. Also from John Sandoval. Let me get a bigger look. Now this cock is a producer. Him, Red Baron, he's a producer. I mean, right now he's probably in the top three. And he's only a 2020. But this is another Harris, it's a Harris bird from also from John Sandoval. Um, these birds are real, real good, real stylish birds. Has some nice depth. The quality is supposed to be real high on these, right? Right, so I'm just trying them out. This is a, he throws workers, kid sensitive and frequent. A lot of style and speed. So something I'm playing with. Those, those are not their babies right there. 
Those belong to another pair. I do have two of their babies in the um, kit box already training. I'm expecting to get some nice working quality birds. This is another pair. Uh, another another old Callahan hen, also from John Sandoval. This, this is another cock that's been producing really well. The smoke blood, you know, all the cocks, all the birds I bred been a smoke blood, but the first one, the, the, the Dalmatian, she got a little white heat. She's a white heat side of the smoke birds, right? So, and I, I, I bring the white heat stuff in in um, two thousand one. So over 23 years ago, so that's my blood. It's smoke, white heat, smoke, white heat, smoke, white heat, so, so. So this is the, this is the bird right here from Johnson. I like this bird. It got a different look than my birds, but it handles well. And so he said, these are really fast. And everybody said, these are have really, really good speed, style, and depth. But this cock throws workers. So I'm trying to, still trying to play with them, see if I can get some deep workers. Just playing with this, this model other side see how they work with the family because they got to work with the family for, for me to do what i'm doing keep doing doing so i'm expecting some i'm expecting to get some birds with some good quality and depth with a cool with a good work rate not a great work rate i'm not trying to get that just jump right into that area right now but that's what i'm trying to do with these right here that's gonna go one or two rounds and break them up they're fly the babies So one of the reasons why I like to cross birds is to, with my main with some of my main birds is for for familiarity. I'm familiar with my birds. I know what to do to feed them to get them to, um, to to work. Pretty much, I know how they home. I know how they fly. They fly a little different when I cross, but they're still the basic. Still show they still show their strengths in there. Homing instinct is really really good. Um, they don't really like to fly high. Unless they force into the habit, which that's because of birds of prey. Well, than that, they, they they pretty much stay right in your face. They've always stayed in your face. Um, so, I'm just trying some a little something different. Trying some just, just to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go to this next pair. This is another one. It's like a cousin to the other hen, or other body hen. But that cock is one of Lisa's project cocks there that cock was not flown but he has already he already has birds spinning in the kits already from with his previous mate so all i'm expecting is but these is frequency frequent with frequency with a little a little more depth um, style and speed is always a plus that always works so she's a cousin to him. I just showed you over there, the other body. They're cousins. They're not sisters, but they look alike. They're cousins. They have also the Harris bloodline. That's their baby. The other lavender bird is a foster. That's a straight South African bird. So, and last but not least that I got down is a Rick Shoney bird with another Lisa bird. I got one coming in pretty good in my little baby team. I'm going to try to fly those for you. If we can get a little video, it's be hard to videotape these birds. So every time I try to video the birds, something happened weird. But that's a Lisa Project and a Rick, and a Rick Shaney hand right here. I'm not sure if it's Harris or O'Callaghan, but I knew it was from Rick Shaney. I have some, he gave me, he actually sent me a pair. But the pair kept on me babies that were like runts, so I broke them up. And I got hit, hit the cock on a Olette bird and I got her on one of my Lisa birds. Olette base bird. Wasn't bred by Alec. It was a, it's his bloodline. It's the, the birds actually from Joseph. The hand from Joseph, Arias. So that's pretty much that on the um, that on on the English introduction to, to the family. Um, haven't bred any straight yet. But I'm breeding them straight the next season. So next season I'm probably breeding all Lisa straight. No, excuse me, all English straight, all South African straight. And I got another surprise, some surprise birds I'm going to breed. I'm not going to mention those just yet. Anyway, that's it. That's all. So until next episode, get out there, select them birds, breed those birds, fly those birds, and keep repeating that process. And you'll be all right. You'll be on your way.
keep nothing. Tail fins rolls out. Peace.